Graduating Class of 2015. seven states, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the course, I have kept the faith. Both your mom and I pray that these words will always be said of you. Continue the venture with joy, keep your eyes on Christ, the author and finisher of your faith. We love you. Hope, it's hard to believe we're standing here today and that we have all survived. Hope is to you. <laughs> From the first through the twelfth grade. We have many stories about this time which demonstrate that while it was not always easy, it was definitely worth the effort. While preparing this speech, God has reminded us that since you were born, you've always been strong willed. You have many talents and that you have a unique way of looking at the world. You have the generous of the animals, especially your dog Bree and your many horsey friends. The gift of drawing that beautifies the world around you. The sense of taking photos at just the right moment. As well as an amazing ability to create heartfelt and captivating stories. It makes us think about the beautiful story that God has written for you. No matter where the story will take you, we will always be there for you, and we we'll look forward to seeing your story unfold. We love you and are very proud of you. Congratulations. Samuel Cornelius Caposi. 
We appreciate your creative talents in photography, storytelling, drama, and dance. With you, there is truly never a dull moment. We have delighted in watching you grow into a woman with a strong faith in God, serving Him as an Awana leader, DBS leader, youth group leader, and children's ministry leader. As you begin the next chapter in your life and pursue your calling in early childhood development, we select these verses to help guide you. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. In Ephesians. Life, you have been tenacious and accomplished all the things you have set out to do. It is our prayer that as you take this next step, you would employ that same tenacity in pursuing not only your goals, but more importantly, the Lord and His plan for your life. You've been blessed with an easygoing, good-natured temperament that has touched our family and many around you, including the first graders in Sunday school. This temperament has helped you make it through difficult times when things weren't always going your way. Your love for the Lord has been apparent in some of the hard decisions you have had to make, and your desire to walk in His ways. We are proud to see the young man you have become, and look forward to all that the Lord has planned for you. In the adventure to come, we pray that you remember James 4.8. Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. We love you, Mitchell. Congratulations. Joshua Harrison Edward Rivera. We are here not only to pat you on the back and to say, well done. We are here also to give you a blessing for the future and an admonition for your future life. In Farmer Boy, Almanzo's father states that many a good start has ended in disaster. You have been careful to cultivate a good start for your life. In the next few years, you will establish your marriage, home, and ministry environment. False steps can alter the blessings from Jesus in a big way. We encourage and charge you to stay the course. Fight the good fight. Remember that your faith without works is dead. Be the man and the leader the other, to others that you would look up to. Stay holy in God's word. Follow him in all your ways. Never take your faith or your family's faith for granted. Be a warrior for Christ and his kingdom. Never call evil good. Never underestimate your witness for his glory. Be ready for the coming of Christ and be ready to take many, especially your wife and children, with you into the next kingdom. Be kind and generous to all. Hold to your convictions. Son, go, go get him. him. Damien, 
Ivan. Micah, I've always teased you, calling you a walking contradiction. Quiet, opinionated, easy, cantankerous. Expressive writer, private thinker, brainiac, total sports nut. This only begins to describe who God intended you to be. As you step out into the world, I pray you will continue to contradict. The world will see stubbornness. Be steadfast anyway, as God intended. The world will see self-righteousness. Be honest anyway, as God intended. The world will see a Bible thumper. Follow Jesus Christ anyway, as God intended. The world will see you standing still. Rest anyway. Rest in the promise of a peace only He can provide, as God intended. Micah, the sky's the limit for you. I believe you can accomplish anything you put your mind to. I've seen you overcome adversity and learn to trust God and experience His peace. I've seen you own your mistakes and grow in His grace and knowledge. My charge to you is, serve God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Let God do great things with that beautiful mind He's given you. His purpose is perfect. It is our honor to present you with your diploma. We love, love you. you. Having the gift of administration and leadership, plus enthusiasm, assistance, and persistence, you're a born plan with many, many, many ideas. You make things happen, from childhood and imaginary animal clubs and making movies, to leading the volleyball club and, and team swing dance club, and most recently the senior to freshman club. You're a creative, inventive, and social, loving, organizing activities. It is a community over the activity that you value. You love friends and being a good friend. Since childhood, you've been driven and bright. Congratulations on being accepted to all the universities you applied, as well as for garnering significant scholarships based on your academic achievement, all the while working two to three part-time jobs. You have dealt with difficult circumstances, with tenacity, deeply caring for others, truly displaying a servant attitude. Your devotion to God, your family, and friends is apparent in all you do. As we launch you, it is with mixed emotions, but, but wrapped with love, admiration, and praying God's best for you. Love you, Congratulations. 